Good evening. This is Kathy Beatty with Divorce Support Anonymous stepping into your life Friday night to give you some hope and some tools and techniques as you go through the trauma of divorce. Thank you for joining me tonight. I appreciate those of you who join me live. It's always good to get some feedback and know that there are people out there. Although the majority tend to view this after um, I'm all finished and that's okay. Whatever works for you. The point is you get what you need as you're going through divorce. So tonight I want to talk about healing, healing after divorce. And some of you may say, well, I never thought about I needed to heal. I mean, it's not like I got in an accident or I was bruised or beat up or broke a bone. Well, it's somewhat worse than that, actually. Your heart and your spirit are in desperate need of healing. And to do that, it takes intention. It's not something that just happens over time. It's something that requires your attention. And so I want to talk just a little bit about that tonight and how you might be able to go about doing that. So there are a few things that need to be done, again, intentionally. One of them is to understand and unpack the trauma that you have gone through, the loss that you have gone through. And these are things that we talk about in my support group, the loss, the grief, that is necessary for you to begin healing, you have to get it out of you, to release it out of you. And so unpacking that trauma, understanding the depth of what has happened to you is vitally important for you to begin healing. And for those of you who just don't want to go there and say, you know what, I, this has been hard enough. I don't want to I don't want to go back. I don't want to talk about this divorce ever again. This divorce, this trauma that has happened to you is going to rear its ugly head in different ways, in physical ways, in emotional ways, in ways where you are reaching out for unhealthy people because you're not healed. In many ways it can. So how important it is that you are honest enough to say, I have been through a trauma. And in my support groups, I put up the definition of trauma. And I explained to them, you have gone through a trauma. Now, there are traumatic events, things that happen to us that are, are um, of a crisis, but there are those that are actually a life trauma. And divorce is one of those issues, um, one of those events uh, that has been a trauma. And so for us just to say, okay, I'm going to pack it away. I got through this really difficult legal process. I'm going to pack it away and forget it. It does not work that way. The only way through it is through it. And so to go through it, again, it's going to take intention of unpacking, of going to a therapist, of going to a support group, of understanding what this impact has been to your mind, body, and soul. Another thing that we need to do in our healing process is setting and enforcing boundaries. Maybe you haven't been really good at boundaries in the past and, and you've let things slide and you've let people come into your life and tell you what to do or you've jumped into other people's lives and told them what to do. Um, speaking adults, not, not children here. Maybe you've never learned how to create a boundary and understand this is me, this is my work, this is my responsibility, that's you, that's your work, that's your responsibility. It's a key to sanity, to having boundaries, to understanding what it is that we can control and what we cannot control. In fact, that's a question that I always have people that I'm coaching ask themselves, what can I control here? What can I control here? He or she is behaving like um, a foolish person. What can I control here? The only way to stay sane is by having those boundaries and understanding what is our work to do and what is other people's work to do. Implementing healthy routines. As you heal, maybe there needs to be some change in your routines. Maybe you need to develop and start some healthy routines, some healthy habits. Now, Many of us can't do this on our own. We need help. We need those network of experts to help us 
to guide us. Maybe we need to learn how to eat better. We need to learn how to exercise better. We need to learn how to have good conversation skills. Oh my goodness. That's something that's in, um, in one of my books that I don't have here right now. I was going to show you about building your life after divorce. We talk about conversation skills. Would you ever want to have lunch with you? Are you good at conversation skills? This is something that can be learned. And it can be learned so that you can become a healthy person in your conversation and in many areas of your life that maybe you've never had before. I never knew how to before. Taking responsibility for your actions. This follows boundaries. This follows implementing healthy routines. Taking full responsibility. Yes, this was my decision. Yes, these are the consequences because of my decision. And being honest and direct with yourself and taking responsibility. Yes, I did this. Yes, I made these mistakes. But I'm going to learn from them and they are not going to be in vain because I'm going to take responsibility for what I have done, the harm that I have caused, and I'm going to try to rectify it if possible Big word of caution here. I don't want you put into a, a difficult situation or a situation where you are a victim again. So we have to be, be careful and you need some guidance in doing that. But taking responsibility for your actions is one way in which you can begin healing and living a stronger and better life. So these are just a few tips that are necessary for healing. Healing is not a fast process. We wish it was. We really do. Don't you? I certainly did. I just want to feel peace. I just want to be at peace with myself. I want to be able to look into a future, see a future, have hope for a future. Well, you can do that once you focus on healing. And really not until... So I hope as you are going through this healing process after divorce, you can't start it until the divorce is over. You really can't. You want to, but if you're in the middle of this process, you are consumed by all of the decisions you have to make, the legalities you have to tend to, the financial piece you have to tend to, all of that. But once this divorce is over and you have that paper and you give yourself a breather, a break, just to rest from all the chaos, then it is time to begin to step into that healing process. And who is the great physician and who is a great healer? That is God, that is Jesus, that is the Holy Spirit. So of course, I'm going to give you some verses to, um, to hold on to, something that you can hold on to. I will recover you and make you live. I'm ready to save you. Those are the words of God in the Old Testament in the book of Isaiah. I will recover you. That's what God says. I know the translation is a little different. But I will recover you and make you to live. I'm ready to save you. Love that verse. Also, I have come, and these are the words of Jesus. I have come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. You know, this has been a real jarring and a transformation to your spirit and your life, but it can be a good one. And on the other side of divorce is an opportunity to live a full and beautiful life. I have seen hundreds that I work with accomplish that. I have seen myself after divorce. You think this is the end. It is not. It is a messy transition to the other side of divorce where there is life when you focus on your healing. And when you are honest and say, I can't do this alone and I'm going to need help and someone to guide me and walk me through this. That's honesty. And you are going to get so much faster, further, further, faster when you are intentional and you are honest about the need that you have in your heart to heal. I hope this has been of help. I'm here for you. I'm 
have been really busy lately, cons lately consulting with a lot of people, but I will make time in my schedule for you. The first hour with me on divorce coaching or div coaching after divorce is at no cost. After that, it's a very nominal fee. Invest in yourself. Invest in your healing. This is Kathy Beatty with Divorce Support Anonymous, walking with you every step of the way through the trauma of divorce. Have a good evening.